The goal of this Fall Essentials video is to show you at least one piece that you've never seen before. I'm not gonna be like, Fall Essentials, a Pico. YouTube, here's what you need to know for this extremely fast-paced video. One, we're going over 36 of the best pieces of clothing that I've ever seen in my life. Two, I've been working for about seven months straight, seven days a week, that's why I look kind of insane and tired in this video. This is the last final stretch before my schedule slows down. Means nothing to you, but it's very exciting to me. Three, there will be Iron Snail Prologue jacket updates coming very, very soon. I am just waiting to hear back from Naked and Famous on one more thing. Email me if you have any questions. Info at theironsnail.us. Okay, here we go. Look, outside, it probably it looks like it's fall, all the leaves are falling, there's a lot of orange, but if we travel deeper into my apartment, you'll see a bug in a takeout container that I caught last night. My air conditioner is on because it's 80 degrees outside. This video is also sponsored by Carrot and don't skip the Carrot ad this time because you could win $800 just by adding something to a list that I made. So be pretty smart if you actually checked it out. And it, honestly, if a thousand people sign up, it's $1,400. So it's a pretty good deal. The first category is bags. And we're starting off with a brand that will come up a few times. It is called Glad Hand, and this is their leather postman bag. I'm finding that I really like heritage style with a little bit of flair to it. Anyways, I have to do a quick workout, and while you're making fun of my pink mat, I'll be getting jacked. Yucatan actually dominates the rest of the bag list. This is their tote. Made in USA, heavy canvas, bench tan, natural leather, not dyed or anything yet. Just the silhouette of it, it's so pretty. Okay, I have to start my day though, I have to get ready for work. Gotta take care of that bug in a little bit. Let him outside. Next up in bags, we have the Yucatan Mailman Tote, which really, it's the same materials as the actual tote, but the Mailman bag is just a different form. This is my outfit for today, by the way. Levi LVC 505s, Hanes Beefy T, and Solivares. Oh yeah, these are the weights I used to get. The Yucatan Portrait Tote in wool with leather handles on the side. Beautiful mil-spec wool on the outside. It's cotton canvas lined on the inside. Made in USA, everything's beautiful. Wow. This video is sponsored by Carrot and this will be the easiest way to win $800 minimum that you've ever heard about in your life. Carrot, if you don't know, it is if you open a bunch of tabs of things you're gonna buy and then you don't wanna close the tabs because you don't wanna lose the things you're gonna buy, Carrot is a solution to that. You just wanna make collections of things that you like and want to purchase. Carrot is the place for that. And now, Carrot and I are teaming up to do a giveaway. How do you win this giveaway? Well, it's very simple. That link in my bio, the top link, that is a collaborative link. So you need to download and install Carrot either on Google Chrome or iPhone. Follow my link to get that collaborative collection and then add a fall essential or fall item that you really like to that collection. All you have to do is go to a website where you can buy something and add it to cart. It will automatically add to Carrot and you click the giveaway collection and you will get minimum $800. The catch is if we have at least 1,000 people sign up, you will then get $1,400. That is really it. That is all you need to do. It has to be on topic, a fall essential or a fall item and you can't spam. Don't add a thousand things. The competition starts now. It ends on November 28th. I will keep talking about it in every single video. If you have any questions, email me at info at the and I will answer them there. Good luck. I hope you win. I'm giving you money as a thank you for watching my videos. And next year, it's probably gonna be a whole lot more. First up is a piece from Taylor Stitch. This is the Ledge shirt in Sunset Stripe. It's seven ounce cotton flannel, and I actually have I actually have a lot of their flannels. This is one from last year. It's very, very well made. Knickerbocker is a website you should just check out in general. They have a bunch of amazing things. I drive by their flagship store every single day. Their crew sweatshirt, my neighbor Chris has one. It's amazing. The color is beautiful, the texture, the fabric, everything about it, I highly recommend. A waffle crew neck from Jack in apricot and I think the color is brilliant heavy sexy this is a wool Vermont overshirt in a very pretty orange color it's a medium weight wool so it's not gonna be super warm if you don't like to mess your hair up in the winter when everything's all staticky wool overshirt that you don't have to pull over your head is very convenient UES chocolate Sunday sweatshirt which I was doing some more digging and it's made out of as pears as I'm just saying ass a lot. Apsero cotton. Apsero is a naturally occurring wild cotton that is found in the foothills of Northeast Peru. Being a tree, it is not farmed and so is was one of the purest, most organic cottons available as it cannot be mass produced. I think chocolate sundae is funny. I don't know what's so funny about it, but I'm like, oh, that's silly. And it's loop wheeled. You can't get much better than that. Okay, next up, it's more important to talk about the brand rather than the products because all of their products are cool, but Chamula, hand knitted in Mexico sweaters made from merino wool. Price is not an option 
option. This is just a fake list. I didn't buy any of this. Have you noticed? The Chamula Fair Isle number no. three pullover sweater. The Chamula Sampler Squares. And then once more, the Chamula Fair Isle sweater, this time in navy. And while we're at it, check out the Stevenson overall wool v gusseted neck sweater. Okay, I'm a little hesitant to recommend you this one because, well, I'll tell you in a second, but it's handmade. It is alternating between indigo dyed yarns and walnut dyed yarns. It's beautiful, but to me, the fit, I don't like when the bottom hem of sweaters is like loose and not very tight. I think it looks weird when it's like overly flowy. So that's the only reason I might not recommend the Indie Ash sweater, but it is beautiful, like stunningly beautiful. Ugh, I'm gonna let this bug out before I leave. This is the Crow's Nest sweatshirt, which is a pretty basic 10 ounce loop wheel sweatshirt. Very pretty, but I just like, it looks like old fashioned text on it that says Crow's Nest. I think that's very cool. Howlin, which a lot of you have recommended to me because there is a snail sweater from Howlin. I like the Howlin Shades of Blue, which is a beautiful terry pullover knit with all these different color flecks and a very vibrant blue. And then the Howlin Firecracker pullover knit. This is obviously a very loud sweater, so not everybody would like it. Both hand knit, both made of Scottish wool. They look beautiful and apparently they are beautiful. Anyways, I have to drive to New Jersey and then uh, we'll do the final one before we get into the big guns like boots and jackets and stuff like that. This last sweater is almost $400, but the good news is apparently it's gonna be super hot in November and stuff now, so you don't even need to buy it. Imogene and Willie's first edition fisherman sweater made of 100% lamb's wool. It's fully fashioned and it's made in the US. Sadly, today I am very busy, so we're gonna have to fly through things. I promise after this video, things smooth out. But for right now, we have to go into hyperspeed snail mode, which we've never done before. So here we go. First off, we have the Pharaoh's 19 WPBJ1 Zip Fleece. This Warehouse & Co. Lot 2130. It's a reverse pile, and fascinatingly, it's reversed, so that way it can be more water resistant because the outside is sprayed with the DWR finished coating. Okay, footwear. Um, this is the alternative that I had to, this is also what I think you'll see if you ever imagine getting in a car accident and seeing me like this. Hey, are you okay? Next up is Yucatan ring boots in antique sheep. So these are sheepskin boots. They're really just kind of like slippers, but the actual, most of the boot itself is made out of sheepskin. And then the outer, the ring and the belt and all of that is Horween Chromexo. Next up are para boots. Specifically, I like the ones called Michael because that's my name. And I was like, hey, that's my name. Norwegian welted, so they're gonna be really good in storms. And they're made in France by hand. Okay, running lights, running lights. Things just got moved again. Next up is Yucatan Salvia boots. These are the newest boots from Yucatan. They have the original Cortina sole, a wood shank, and very thick opera flesh out leather. Leather, which I believe is just rough out leather. Oh. These are the Knickerbocker Frack Cap collaboration, which are amazing. They're vegetable tan calf on the outer. They are also lined with calf. On Knickerbocker, it just says they're welted. Could be a Norwegian welt, could be a Goodyear welt. I don't have that information. Anyways though, jackets. I'm so sorry that this video is getting faster. Taylor Stitch's field jacket in camo. I like all of Taylor Stitch's camo patterns the best, so that's why it's on the list. Great deal, it's like a alternative to barber. Hey Tito. The Free Note Cloth RJ1 Rider Jacket. I think this is their most famous product. Just like Huckberry and just like Rogue Territory, I believe, and just like the Red Wings I just reviewed. This jacket is made out of Martexan fabric. This is a beefier, heavier version than the Huckberry jacket at 10 ounces. And it's also lined with a cotton, really bright, loud pattern. Next up is Shangri-La, their cafe racer in Nubuck Steerhide. There's one that we'll get to later that's actually sold out that is a cafe racer, very, very similar. I really think I like a cafe racer better than a Perfecto. The Knickerbocker Suffolk jacket. It made the list because I really wanted to start wearing M65 liners. This is the first time I've seen a liner based jacket or like a recreation of an M65 liner look really cool and it's reversible. The Knickerbocker, again, post coat cafe, 22 and a half ounce wool. This is a beautiful jacket. This is kind of right on the money of a uh, Brown's beach cloth jacket. There's also a jacket right here. Private white VC suede racer in goat suede, handmade in Manchester, England. The other interesting jacket here is from Mr. Porter, actually from Mr. Porter. 
It's their Mr. P line. Oops, that's not the right white balance. It's their Mr. P line, which isn't, I feel like this is a different category than what I normally show off on this channel because it's not super overly built, I don't think. Going in that same kind of direction though, there is a shearling collared suede jacket from Polo, Ralph Lauren. This jacket looks beautiful. It's in a nice green suede. I'm really into suede this year. I wanna get a suede Harrington actually. This is a Todd Snyder Pico in green corduroy. It's just made out of cotton and and probably not very warm, but stylish. This is a grizzly jacket, but it is Double RL's version of a grizzly jacket. I love the geniusness of the grizzly jacket because it's two layers of insulation utilized on one jacket, so it's very cool. Okay, one last one before I give Christian his Christmas present. I can't hold on to gifts that long, but actually, no, I gotta get ready because he's gonna come in at any second. Merry Christmas. What is that? That's your gift, dude. No way, I know what this but, is. But like I said. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, you buddy! <sighs> okay, we don't have to super hyper snail speed mode anymore. I still have to edit this video and stuff by tonight, but we have two more jackets. The temperature has gone down significantly. It's supposed to be 50 tomorrow. It is a quiet fall night in a very suburban area with cars going by. Two more jackets. Here we go. The first one is from Gladhand, who made the first product that I talked about, the leather bag with all the drawings and stuff on it. This is a hand embroidered Melton Peacoat that I am 100% buying. There's only one left, so I will be talking about it later. The last thing on the list, you've probably heard of Fine Creek Leathers before. They make leather jackets out of horsehide shinky that is T-core, so it fades to brown as you wear it. But they also make this jacket, the Fine Creek Leather Norfolk Suede Suka Jacket, hand embroidered, $2,000, incredibly thick suede, it is a suede souvenir jacket. Unreal. I just want to see one and see what it's like. That's it. That is the first round of Fall Essentials. The second one is all things that I have and I'll be putting on. And that'll be a very, very big list too. So can't wait for that. It's finally time to take my time with the Iron Snail videos and add a bunch of fun stuff in. And I'm very excited. The Fall Special will now be coming soon. Thank you for watching this video. I'll talk to you soon.